Hey guys, it's Jimmy here and welcome to DTM Experience 2015. Now, as you can see at the top part of the screen, just here, now she's going to help us out a little bit. That says Championship. So as you guessed, we're going to be doing through an entire Championship of the DTM Experience. I'm going to be doing it in one sitting on my end. You'll get it in videos, of course. So I'm going to be just sit down and do it. It's going to be my day today. Um, running as Timo Glock in the BMW M4 in the awesome yellow livery car. Timo the Glock block. block. I'm seeing how many times I can use that in this playthrough here. Uh, with uh, a full field, get real physics, all that stuff here. Feature race for them to be 15 minutes, sprint race to be, I think, about 10 minutes or so. All the damage on AI, not quite at the highest difficulty, but pretty damn close. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting uh, getting underway. I don't know much about DTM in terms of rule sets and regulations, so I'll be learning that as I go. But uh, as with any racing, try and win, essentially. So I, I can do that. So let's jump right in. Hockenheim is our first race of the season. Let's go. Well, so here are our, our list of drivers for the season. A couple of names in there that I recognise. Resta, Wiccan, Spengler, for example. Oh, Farfus, I know him as well. Um, Tom Chick, I know him as well. Oh, and Pascal Verlein. So a couple of well-known names in there. Um, again, this is sort of from a complete newbie perspective of, of a DTM. So I don't know a lot of these people. I'm, I'm wondering who my championship battle is going to be. I'm wondering how the AI is going to be. Where I'm going to have a consistent uh, driver be... Uh, you know, doing well, they're going to be sort of random. Hoping it's a, a, a consistent championship rival, if that's the case, so we can get a nice little uh, battle going on. Nice little narrative, shall we say. The GTM narrative by Jimmy B. Well then, start qualifying one. Um, practice is okay, ended up about sixth on the grid. Hoping to sort of emulate that in the in the race. Uh, I'm allowed to use my... Uh, I said, no, I'm not allowed to use my... Um, DRS, I don't think. So it's going to be just a uh, pure driving skill. I'll give you the qualifying lap, my best lap. And then we'll go straight to the race. Uh, I'm gonna get a nice setup here. He goes a little bit wonky there into that last uh, hairpin. The old stadium section obviously is what left is what is left now of the old F1 track, I should say. But trying to get myself set up nicely. I hate this corner for a qualifying lap. Here we go. Stamp on the power on the way up into fourth. Just using the curb on the right hand side. We're gonna be down to fourth gear for T1. So there we go, down to fourth, turn it in. Oh understeer, massive understeer through that. I didn't turn in anywhere near quick enough. This will be my qualifying lap, by the way. I'm not going to do any second takes on this. The breaking hard now down for the hairpin. Down into second gear. Just aiming for the orange bump on the inside. Then straight line it out here. 21 3 first sector. Not entirely quick, obviously, because of our understeer at T1. But uh, hopefully, we can make it up later on in the lap. Now, you just sort of time to sit and wait. Very nice to sit down here with DRS because you just get a massive toe and it's very fast. Breaking just before the 100. Down to second gear, down to first gear on the apex. Back of the car come around a little bit there. Maybe first gear was a bit of a mistake, but no worries, we're okay. Didn't we lose any time there? Now flat through this little right hand uh, kink. Much more of a corner in the car about downforce. And again, heavy braking. Second gear. When it opens up on the exit, does the same here as well. You turn in early and then trust that the end of the corner is going to be there. Could have got out a bit later there, but we're okay. See the time there, 1058 through the second split always love that corner in the F1 cars uh, now breaking hard for the hair but you can cars okay a bit sensitive at the rear that could be my right foot being a little bit heavy I'm renowned for that unfortunately actually get the last corner semi decent I say that run over the curb on the outside smashing the throttle come across the line are we gonna be Spengler this time we aren't gonna be Spengler by a long way 35-1 is our time. Let's see where that places us at the end of the session. Well, here's the grid, uh, and I'm not in the top 11, I can tell you that. Uh, it wasn't a great session for me. I ended up qualifying 15th position, so uh, sort of towards the back of the grid. Not not right at the back, though. Uh, Paul DeResta takes that, uh, that, uh, that honour. So I, I'll, I guess our goal is to try and get into the top 10, have a nice sort of uh, debut for the season. Sprint race first, so it's going to be a... Uh, about a 10 minute race or so, so no pit stops required or anything like that. Just completely uh, start to finish, uh, balls to the wall racing, and hopefully I can make up plenty of positions. Well, here we are, sitting on the grid. Lights come on for the first race of our DTM season, five lights, and we are away. A bit of a bad start from me, I say that, but then I get a nice little second phase, and off I go. Fantastic start, in fact, AI bunching up a little bit, so I make the most of that, up into 11th place off the line. Forced we go a little bit a uh, little bit tight on T1, but we're okay now. Up on the inside of, I think that's one of the Audis. And then breaking hard into T1. Try not to have any contact with anyone, because damage is on. 
Oh, car in front gets spun. Oh, we, we have light contact. Just about got away with that. Somehow up into 10th position. There's already in our top 10. A good start from us. Steering feels okay. I thought we might have taken a bit of damage there. Um, so that's okay. We're, we're, we're away and good. Much better start than I had anticipated. So 15th to 10th place just through the first couple of corners there. Now down to the heaven for the first time braking as late as I dare. Audi has a look up the inside. I deny him. And then stamp on the front on the way out. It's got a BMW in front of us. Hello M4 driver. Hopefully we can um, get onto the back of this little train in front of us. See what we can do here, shall we? I'm braking. Trying to carry as much speed as possible through the corner. This car is really good at the mid speed corners. All contact in front of us. A little bit of argy bargy there, Martin. You're right there, Murray. We can. When you go through the stadium section, the AI are actually really pretty damn quick. Only this little hairpin, they have little slip ups. As you can see, oh, I'm forced to get off the throttle there. The driver in front, not quite reacting as fast as I was. And this corner, I just can't do for love nor money. Bangla leads after that one. We're going to be coming across the line in 10th position. There you go, just behind uh, Wit, and that is. Oh! Car in front has a big off. I have to go wide. Take evasive action there. Up into ninth place. So I get a warning for cutting the track, but I have to do it. Let's see if that will crash into him. Uh, no way of stopping that in time. Up into ninth place now. Qualifying a bit better. Our qualifying is the um, position we'll be starting for both races. So we'll be qualifying in 50. We'll be starting 15th as well for the the feature race. Hopefully, we'll be a little bit better. Um, I'll say a little bit better, we've done really well so far actually up into ninth place. Hopefully we'll uh, be just as competitive in that race as we have been in, th in this one. Let's get under the corner. Lots of traction in these cars. Very easy to get the power down. It's possible to slide these around and spin, so but, uh, a lot of the time that grip is there, so might see that start to wane at the end of the race on these tyres. Eyewear is on, of course. Everything is on. You saw at the start screen. Going full bore simulation mode. If we can make something with this Audi in front. Oh, a little bit of understeer through there, slowing me down. Right mid corner. Cut in. The corner's actually really satisfying to get right because it almost looks like a little bowl the way it's, uh, it's banked. This one's slightly off camera coming in. And then the final on the way out. 34 1, I think, from Spengler at the front. It's a very quick lap. No idea what my lap time was because that was disallowed because of my evasive action earlier on. We are pulling away from the guy behind though, which is good for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Gear again. Oh, don't want to actually touch that orange thing, just aim for it. Getting closer to the back of the car in front. I don't think DRS is actually available in the sprint race. It isn't the feature race. So we've got to get past them all on our own some. Which I'm pretty sure we can do, it's not impossible. Oh! Very brake lighting! Or brake lighting? Very late braking, and the car in front, I don't know, just didn't just stop really early there. It caught me off guard and ended up hitting the round, and I don't think we're damaged, although we did give him a suitable punt. That's number one on the punt counter there. Oh, that's throwing me off, throwing me off now, my, my rhythm's gone. Up into 8th place though regardless, we'll ignore the fact that we completely killed someone for the position. They don't need to know that. Oh, understeer, maybe we have some aero damage at the front. Okay. don't really like running over the kerbs that much in this car, because the car does want to actually sort of pitch and, uh, and tail on them. Nice in road cars, not so great in road cars. Ooh, 34.2. I did a 36.5 that lap. DRS not No, DRS is available in this race. I'm being stupid, sorry. Disregard what I said there. I'm just not close enough to get it. But we're still up into 8th place, which is good for us. I wanted the AI to be at a level where they were competitive, and I wasn't sort of easily running away of any races or anything, so... Me running 8th, I think, is a really good sign of that. Car in front's got 
about three seconds on me now. I really need to make sure this lap is a lot better than the last one. Try and gain back some of that time. Full lock there. Let's get that round. I do enjoy how these DTM cars handle. They're very fun. I'll give it that. You can see that where the speed comes from in them, you have to be a pro to get the most out of them. And I'm not a pro, <laughs> not by a long shot. I'm just the cock block block. Oh, running a little bit wide there. I've got a wave it though, just about missed the gravel on the outside. Gravel is unforgiving in this game as it should be. Go into it, you're going to lose a lot of time. But we are gaining slightly on the car in front. We're going to lose all that now through here, I bet you anything. Nervously in third gear. A lot of understeer through there, I can feel the front tyre scrubbing. Not a bad lap though, 34 7 from me. Didn't mind doing that and qualifying. Oh, run over the kerb. Didn't want to do that. And then a bit too early there. Don't want to have any more cut tracks or I could end up with a drive through penalty, which would be a uh, real pain in our first race, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to take it extra easy through there uh, next time around. Looks like the cars in front have bunched up a little bit. So I can see fourth place just about in the distance, just, he's just around the corner at the moment. I guess that, that could be our goal. I think he's a bit too far out the road though for us to, to catch him, but you know. Hey ho, we'll give it a, we'll give it a shot. Can't decide between first and second round there. First gives me that punch, but obviously I have to control it a bit better. There, I didn't do too well, but a wheel spin coming out the corner. Oh, Jesus. Jimmy, you got a break, mate. I mean, oh. Uh, okay, we just about got away of that. I say just about. Lost a lot of time there. Now the Audi behind us is all over the back of our car. These things do not like low speed, they like to be going fast. I think that sort of ruined our chance of catching the guy in front a little bit, which is a mighty shame. We've got a couple of laps left though. I've got to make sure I get T1 right this time, I really don't want to drive through penalty. It's one of those corners that you really have to be careful with. Very fast. It's very easy to get wrong. Probably go through there in fifth if I was a bit of a better driver, but it's fourth for now. Trying to use second gear and keep some sort of speed through there. Damping the front again, just touching that little kink on the kerb. Luckily the grip and the, the rear traction of these cars, that is easily flat through there. Some some cars can't do that, they can't go from being flat to the uh, of kink straight away so it, it's nice to see this one can. A little beep there of me shifting down too fast and the, the car being like well no I'm not gonna let you do that because you pull out the engine. Which is good because I like to have engines that work. Look how much, look how much we've gained now we're really starting to pull them back in again. So we've got the pace to be a bit higher than we are we just Not extracting it from the car. That's a lot of time there, in fact, actually, going around that, that right hander. Ah, I took several stabs at the throttle there. You, you, you can tell when I, I get the corner wrong because it just doesn't look good. It's a sort of, these cars are pretty much downforce machines. But like GT3s with downforce, effectively, so uh, we're more downforce. I'm pretty sure they're very similar to GT500 cars. Um, someone will let me know in the comments, I imagine. So we're going, I'm not sure when our last lap's going to be. Oh, hitting the inside bit, just about getting away with it though. Once you swap committed to the turn, then you have to take it, otherwise you go wide anyway and have that off track, so I thought it was just worth almost riding the curb at that point. Ooh! I wanted to pitch to the right there, luckily I caught it. Using my pro reactions. Are we going to catch this Audi in front? It's for, it's, it's for seventh place, so it's definitely. Uh, I think it's worth more points to me anyway. 
imagine it is. I don't really know the point structure of the DPM. Oh, look at the difference in the braking for the hairpin. They get a little bit, uh, a little bit out of shape on the brakes there, but managed to at least reel in about half a second. It's in the braking zone alone. Again, the little onboard computer telling me not to do that. Shifting down too quickly now, I can taste blood in the water, as they say. The rear of the car wants to break loose, so you've got to be careful with throttle application. Ooh, understeer. Turned in a bit too late as well. Oh, don't want to get on that inside curb. Just about to save that. Ah, I'm so close, I'm not going to be close enough for DRS though, which is a pretty much uh, I'm going to pass you. Um, pass slap of 34 1 from M. Martin. Doing a, oh, this is the last lap of the race now. Our last chance to catch him. I don't think we're going to do it. A bit too far behind. And this is a mistake. Let's be the latest of the late breakers. See if we can make any sort of ground up at all. Not quite close enough for any slipstream yet either. So we won't be benefiting at all from that. We'll still stay behind him. We might catch something, some sort of sliver. Uh, we're getting a little bit. Ah, bankers! Break as late as I dare then. You heard the uh, the computer again being like, no Jimmy, please the engine. I refuse to listen to the, the computer. Oh, Breaked a bit too late there. Paid for it. I'm just not going to be close enough, I don't think. Not a bad effort though in our first race. 15th from the grid. Bad qualifying session turns into 8th from the race. I will take that. Top 10 was our goal. We're 2 under that, so we're 2 under par. The result. Looks like Spengler's won it. I might do a 33-6 on the last lap, no doubt as a DRS assisted lap, but a very fast lap. We come across the line to finish eighth. Not a bad race at all for us. Here we are, confirmation results. Spengler first, I'm down in eighth place. Uh, the rest I managed not to finish last, go on him. Wickens there, 21st, I know his name as well. Standings, 25 points for first. Oh, very similar to the F1, then always just the F1 point scoring. I'm seventh there, so four points for me. Uh, if I can get that back up, this, this screen scroll too fast. And, uh, Looks like I am the 4th place BMW, so repping BMW to the max, but now, on to the sprint race. Okay, well it seems I was actually incorrect, I was under the wrong impression. You, I am actually going to get a second stab at qualifying, so I'm going to give that a go and let you know how I do. Well here we are, end, or pretty much the end of the second qualifying session. I've done a bit better this time, I pretty much improved my first time without a second, which is good from my point of view. I've been to 8th place on the grid, and we've had a, we had a good start last time, so maybe we can get up to that top 5, take a little top 5 uh, by the end of the first lap. We'll see, we seem to be pretty hot off the line, so hopefully we can continue that. Anyway, let's move on to the next race, uh, which is the uh, feature race, which is going to involve a mandatory pit stop, so that's also going to come into play as well in terms of strategy, so... How would that be cool? 15 minutes this race, guys. Sit back, enjoy it, and uh, watch me fight for my life. There you go. Just confirmation there that I am starting, and <laughs> I forgot that was my picture. The Shinji Nakano slash Jimmy Broadbent hybrid. But I am starting in 8th place next to Mr. Farfus in the uh, sister BMW, so uh, yeah, let's see what we can do. So, starting on the inside, right where we want to be. Two lights, three lights, four and five. Can we get a good start? Can we get into that top four, top five? Let's see. Oh, it is a good start, but it will spin though. Not quite good enough for the top lot, but we've made up some positions nonetheless. Nice and slow for T1. A bit of contact from behind there from Farfus, just about keeping it uh, steady. We get our cut trap warning there, but at the, uh, I guess, positive as we gain the fifth place. Audi in the inside having a look, the cars bunching up through turn two. And we're now right on the back of the BMW, it's an awful run out of the kink. 
Let's up up to fourth place now. Can we get up to third? Yes, we can. Slip stream round the outside. I think that's Gary Paffett, the F1 test driver. We're going to have to break nice and late, though, to keep the position going into the hairpin. I break early just because I'm not sure what the tyres are like. Oh! BMW up on the inside. We'll try to anyway. Cars three wide behind me. Up into third position. Fantastic. Exactly what I wanted from this race. Now, top three already in the top lot. Looks like our starts have been very good so far. But can do we have the pace to keep out of these guys in front? I'm not sure we do. But we'll continue regardless. That's how we race. That is a, another... That's another Audi in front of me. I can't quite see there. A bit sloppy there through the right-hander. Uh, that was one of the Mercedes to get a bit closer to us behind us. Try to get that car turned in on the power nice and early. So, we're going to get a little a bit of the HUD to come up soon and tell us when and where we can pit. Oh, okay. Getting on the power a bit too early there. Currently on the option tyres. We're on the faster tyres. Oh, I say that as we're, we're completely ruining them. We're going to have someone come on our inside now, surely. There you go. Half it there on the inside. Side by side down the straight. Contact two, three, four times, five times. I'm going to have to concede the corner to him, but I'm going to get a better run out of it. NTY out on the outside now he's got the inside line there I'm going to leave him a bit of space on the inside not too much though there you go pit window opens in three minutes time I've got a defender like a hell and uh, Mr. Paffitt behind us he's going to have the slip stream now coming down to the hairpin you can see he's gaining a little bit we've got to make sure we hit our breaking point Fine this time because we lost a lot of time last time in this corner. Punch out. Really lighting up those rear tyres there though. First and second are putting away a little bit. They aren't close enough to be fighting, which isn't good for us. I want them to fight so I can catch back up again. Have to hope for that. Oh, car getting a bit squirrely there. Definitely weaker through that part of the circuit than the rest of the drivers, it seems. Bit too much break through there, got to trust that downforce to do the job. That's going to be a bit of a, uh, a Glock train, going to have to engage some top pass Glock blocking to keep my position. I'm not sure what I'm going to do in terms of strategy, in terms of when I'm going to come in. I'm, there's no car in front of me at the moment, but I'm not getting any DRS benefit. So it might be worth me just coming in, maybe sitting behind someone else, getting some DRS benefit. And then um, hoping that will bring me a bit further up the field when I come back out of the pits. Yeah, nice. I was drinking quite a bit actually to try and just keep this pace up. These cars aren't the sort of cars that I usually drive, but I'm enjoying them. Enjoying the challenge and the difference that the DTM 2015 experience brings. Again, breaking just before the 100. Bit like that time on the brake. Oh! I'm waiting to bust itself loose there. I might try an early pit strategy. No, I'm going to give it two more laps, then we'll pit in. I don't want these tyres to wear too much. Again, just not. I need to trust the grip of the car out of there. I'm not giving the rear of the car the benefit of the doubt. Kind of in no man's land in third at the moment. Oh, that's a mistake. Wide through there. Early third gear for traction's sake there. Uh, worst corner on the track, I just despise this corner. Thirty-four eight from the guy in front. My lap time is going to be nowhere near that. Oh, right on the side that time. A bit scary over the kerb there, but managed to avoid the cut track, which is good. Just not very good at gauging with the turn in at that speed. I don't know why. Car again wanting to shoot to the right, just about grabbing it there on the counter steer. Working up a bit of a sweat now. 35 0, so we aren't too far off the, the fast guys. Two temps off there that time. Maybe we can uh, put in a quick lap, shall we? 
Well, it depends on this hairpin. Running over the inside curb helps turn the car a little bit. Oh, outside curb making things a little bit difficult, but we're okay. Lap four of this race, still in third position, hasn't changed since the first lap, since our nice start from eight from the grid. That gives the car benefit of the doubt round here. Yeah, it just about hangs on. Very nice. Break a bit earlier now because I'm going faster. It's like a pretty nice lap so far. Can we continue it into the stadium? And that early third gear because I don't like the massive second out of there. Don't know why I took so much curb there and there, but work with it. And then really early there, just grab the Astro on the inside to turn the car. 34.6 from extra, what's my time going to be? Oh, 34.6, a little bit quicker. Last lap of the race, I'll have that, mate. Going through there in fifth gear now, confidence definitely raising. I'll stay out that a little bit longer. I'm doing fastest laps, there's no point spinning yet. I'm a little beamer. Get them, they are getting visibly closer now as I'm pulling away from the guys behind. I believe. Getting on the next lap, it seems. I well, know, if these guys pit, I'll follow them in. I think. We'll see. Very nervous at the rear. Hell, like I'm starting to push at the tyres, starting to heat up a little bit. Oh, I had to get the throttle there. Scrubbing the front tyres. What are the guys in front going to do? Are they going to pit? Are they going to stay out? Let's find out. I'll go around one more time, so I will do the same. Another third, oh, 34 dead almost. 34 1, pretty much, I should say. Very fast lap through there, and the guy in front has an awful run through T1. We're catching the first and second place on pace, ladies and gentlemen. Not close enough for DRS over the line, but we're going to be close enough for a sit stream now, which is almost the same thing. That speed differential as we close in. I throw it to the inside. Oh, contact again. I would say gentleman's rule, but I braked as hard as I could then and I braked after him and he's still hit him, so... Taking that position, thank you very much. Give me punt to pass and gauge. We'll be pitting this lap, though. Oh, put the curve in the way there, really yanked the steering to the left. I don't think a win is going to be quite on the cards. But you never know. We'll see what happens, won't we? Oh, wide, wide, wide. Pit line. Okay, yes, I'm good with that. Confirm it. Let's do it. Well, no, I didn't do a pit request, so I might end up having a little a couple of seconds of preparation, as they call it. No, I think. Oh, okay, that's going to really cost me. Come on. Ah, oh, silly mistake. Look how much time I've lost. Right in the back of this BMW now. Around my fourth. I refuse to have that be my my destiny. Oh, Eyes are cold though, gotta be careful with them. In the future I need to remember to hit 
that uh, pit request button. That knocks off the preparation, I think. It must do, surely. Oh, cold brakes. Are we going to go around the outside, are we? Are we going to do it? Pretty sure it's right next to me. There he is! Ha <laughs> ha! Done it! Screw you, Bimmer! And we've got a good run on the Audi as well. Oh, I'm going to try the outside here. Oh, that's not going to work. I'm a bit too confident. Grab those tyres. Back on the podium, though. Oh, wide, 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 wide. Understeer coming to play. Where is first place? Well and truly gone. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Driving a bit sloppy now. Their Spenglers well and truly run away with it. Just under three seconds to extra in front. Wonder if there's anything we can do about that. Ah! Oh, bouncing on the exit. I think we're throwing away our chance of second. It's going to be a podium position though if we can keep this up. Not too long left in the race now. Although I feel like I am catching, I can be fast in this last sector if I put my mind to it. But hitting all my marks. That wasn't too bad. But lifting the way in, then back on the power. Not gaining enough though. No. I don't think I said anything right there. I'm not gaining enough on the guy in front. By a little way yet. Uh, understeer. And as a consequence, we are slow through there, very slow. Ekstrom's going to... He's Captain Spengler, but he's pulling away from us. There's a second that lap. Oh! Back concentration for a second there. Bit of tyre pickup, most likely. Don't really be wanting that, to be honest. I don't know, the car doesn't feel as good on these uh, on these prime tyres. Not feeling great. Still running in third place. Again, just sort of out of no man's land at the moment. Nice and chill without the hairpin though. I say chill, I'm sort of getting that oversteer on the power every time. A little bit of fun, but hey ho. These tyres aren't going to be on the car much longer. Ooh. Just positioning is my trouble through there. Really grabbing the inside there just to throw the car in. The braking zone is getting a little bit, uh, a bit sloppy now. Gotta be careful of that because we aren't too far off the end of the race. I can keep this podium position if I stay here, which will put us in a nice place in the championship, I think. Oh, out. This will be a, either this will be the last lap or the next one. A 33 4 from Extreme. I, can't, I cannot match that pace. Imagine the next lap will be the last. Oh, drift! Just about kept it. Rear tyres getting warm. That's my own doing. Just a bit too much uh, of the old sideways action going on.
Oh, again, they're losing control of the rear. Putting too much heat through these rear tyres and they're now starting to pay for it. BMW catching me. He so easily overtook him around the outside of the hairpin a couple of laps ago. I'm sure he's looking for some sort of revenge. Don't want to touch that curb, completely ruins the car. That stability there with the right hander. BMW starting to be a bit fighty now. Bengler still though with the top place BMW honours. It is the last lap. Still falling behind Ekstrom. Who is gaining on Spengler at quite a rate? He won't catch him, but if there were a couple of laps he might have done. Even we can get a decent one out of here this time. Oh, BMW brakes very late. Is it wrong, in fact? Does he have DRS, though? This could be problematic for us. Let's keep one eye on that rear view mirror. Let's see how close he approaches. Don't think he has it. I think we're okay for now. Oh, look at him, how quick he is through the hairpin. So I just stand on the front line. It's just a matter of keeping this position now. I will not have the opportunity to gain any more. I only mean, lose at this point, so I've got to be nice and clean for this last part of the lap. A little bit screwy out there, but I think we should be okay. As long as we don't have our last corner shenanigans making a mistake in the stadium we should be fine yep you guiding the car around down the front I can see the bim to be getting a bit bigger in my mirror but it's none of my concern now this is the last lap of the race oh don't go too wide there that could have been very bad okay though we've managed to hold him off first podium of the season second round not too shabby eight from the third I'll take that I'll take that from our first meeting um, I don't think we would have actually had the pace for second in the end. For whatever reason, the car felt awful after the pit stop. Might just be uh, in, my, in my mind. That happens sometimes. You have a pit stop and you think, oh, that's a bit different. Yeah, and just naturally it makes your performance just look that little bit worse. But uh, Bengler wins it again, takes another win. So that's a clean sweep for him here. So he'll be in the lead by quite a way. But there we are, third. Uh, with Whitman behind us in, uh, in fourth. So... BMW 134, not too bad for us. And where's our friend Teresta? Down in 20th. All bad. There you go, race podium. Yeah. Nice little guy there. Here's my, here's my applause for Shinji in the car gym. Shin Jim the car, whatever. There you go, there are the race. Apparently. <laughs> okay, ignore this. Apparently, Timo's uh, China is leading with multiple thousands of points. Ignore that, though. But at the moment, it is. Bengal leading from their line. We're actually in fourth somehow on 19 points, so we've come pretty, we've done pretty uh, or third I should say. So we're third in the championship despite an eight from the third only in the uh, top races. So I guess the other guys from the from race one had a couple of issues, but uh, Jesus Christ! But what is <laughs> race room, please? <laughs> but yeah, we're third in the championship. Onto Euros, I think it's Euros Euros Speedway Lau Lauitz next. I think I want to say. I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified of future videos and to keep up track of this series. So take care, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will catch you all next time.